Hello movie lovers, if you're looking for information on independent horror films or short films or haunted attractions, then definitely make your subscription today at TN Horror News, where they got you covered. If you want your horror fix, that is the place to go to to get your information. Leatherface, directed by Alexandra Bustillo and Jillian Marion. My goodness, I absolutely enjoyed this film. I enjoyed this film a whole lot better than the last one we saw, because that one hurt me. It hurt me deeply. Um, the film is about young Jedediah, so I'm assuming this film takes place before the original. So, you know, the way they write these films nowadays, everybody likes to backtrack before the original then somehow do one in front of the recent one i just don't know why they don't just do the whole damn film straight across and they just want to confuse us and make our eyes cross up and then we look crazy like yeah can i get a ticket to uh uh what, what movie is that <laughs> can i get a ticket to uh scream uh uh scream before me and the next thing you know Everything's all jacked up, but back to the review. Um, I enjoyed this film still. Overall, this film was really good. It was real brutal. It was brutal as hell. Because anytime you see any um, movie that's related to Texas Chainsaw, or man, this movie went through so many phases. It was Texas Chainsaw, then Chainsaw Massacre, then some other shit, and then then we got Leatherface, but I enjoyed this one because you get to see how Jedediah was before he became twisted, and now you un you officially understand in this film why he's jacked up, because this mother, played by Lily Taylor, is off the chain. This woman always playing the most good movies. I knew when she was in this movie, I mean, she was gangster in this movie too, but I knew when she was going to be in this movie, I knew this was going to be a good movie. I like this woman ever since I seen her in Haunting. I don't know if y'all saw that film, but I thought that film was amazing, but ever since her performance in that movie, she's just been consistently going on. I mean, she absolutely nailed it in The Conjurer, and I thought that movie was good as well, because she would bring you to tears in that movie. Like, that was a powerful movie, um, the first Conjurer. And then, you know, she played in a lot of other cool films, um, cool horror films. She always played in the most coolest horror films. And then now, you know, she's in this one. And Mom is pretty gangster, man. She's just straight up gangster. And that's why I loved her role and her character in this film. And then, you know, you see Tom, you see Jedediah. He's inside this asylum. And he's clearly in there with a lot of other kids that are just not well and inside the asylum, when, when the asylum go off, when you be like, let the body sit the floor. No joke. Like, people was flying out windows inside of wheelchairs. People was getting choked out in their bed with belts around their neck. I mean, the movie was off the chain. I, I did not expect it to be this good. But before getting any further than that, let's get this movie a rating, shall we? I give this movie a thumb up and a big ass smiley face. Oh yeah. And let's talk about the lawman in this movie played by Steven Dorff. Man, he was off the hook because when this guy lost his daughter, he absolutely lost his shit. 100%. This man wanted the Sawyer. So he didn't care which Sawyer he got. Even if it was Jedediah himself, he did not give a shit. He wanted to take him down because the man was tired. He, after you, took his, you take a man's child, man, that's it. And he didn't have enough. He got tired of the shit. And any father can relate to that because I would have been the same damn way but this man was off the chain I actually love Steven Dorff um, he was awesome in uh, Blade I mean he's always classic in Blade I could watch him in Blade all day um, as the um, head vampire in that film um, Cold Creek Manor he was awesome in that movie and he was awesome in a lot of films that he played in I did not know that the guy that played his Iron Fist was in this film as well he was also in this film and just a lot of familiar faces in this film but like I said the film was good from beginning to the end it's very entertaining and very brutal especially that diner scene my goodness man I was just I, was, I could not believe it I <laughs> just could not believe it but this movie was really good. I really enjoyed it. You can check this film out right now on Direct TV. Uh, the film costs uh, eleven ninety nine, so it's definitely worth it. I mean, it got that movie theater price ticket, you know, that midday price ticket, but it's totally worth it by the end of the day. This movie is definitely worth your money. 
Unlike some movies I ain't gonna name on this channel right now, because some movies just hurt your damn pockets sometimes. But this one is definitely worth it. And check it out on Direct TV if you have Direct TV. It's definitely worth buying. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to leave a comment. Let me know what you think about Leatherface because I told you what I thought about it. I thought it was awesome. Every scene was memorable in this film. And they got some wonderful actors and actresses. And all the writers did a good job as well. So we got everything all wrapped up in one. It almost got my highest rating. I highly recommend it. And to all my movie lovers, keep it scary. I love you.